former nurse will spend the rest of her life behind bars with no opportunity for parole. Here's Mr Justice Goss speaking at Manchester Crown Court in the last few minutes. During the course of this trial, you have coldly denied any responsibility for your wrongdoing and sought to attribute some fault to others. You have no remorse. There are no mitigating factors. In their totality, the offences of murder and attempted murder were of exceptionally high seriousness and just punishment, according to law, requires a whole life order. Lucy Letby, on each of the seven offences of murder and the seven offences of attempted murder, I sentence you to imprisonment for life. Because the seriousness of your offences is exceptionally high, I direct that the early release provisions do not apply. The order of the court, therefore, is a whole life order on each and every offence, and you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Um, Marina, first of all, your thoughts on that? Obviously, Lucy Lackby spending the rest of her life in prison. Absolutely right. I think she should die in prison. I've got no... I've just... The whole, this whole story, I've almost not wanted to get too into it because it's too... It's too distressing. Mm. I've got two young... I mean, anyone, for anyone, this is distressing. I've got two young kids. I've got a 10-month-old. It wasn't that long ago. She was just, you know, a newborn. And the, the, the only instinct you've got when they're so little and so defenceless is to protect, let alone these, these were uh, premature, I think, babies that, that she was looking mm. after. The idea that you could, in a position of trust, when these little babies are already struggling to survive, and you... For reasons I don't get, I will never understand, choose to end their little lives when they are struggling just fills me with, I, it makes me go cold. Yeah, it's so distressing. So awful. I think she, she, I almost don't want her to be ever spoken about again. But though ne lessons, I hate the term, but need to be learnt because we obviously saw within the NHS there were whistleblowers, there were people that, that, that called this out. But by the way, what I will say is I don't like how this is being used as a, as a bat to whack the NHS with. Mm. This, is a, this is a very you know, edge case, awful, horrific situation. But there should be uh, a full investigation into how this was allowed to happen and why those initial whistleblowers were treated the way that they were, because this can never, ever happen again. I mean, this is something that shocked the nation, isn't it? But yeah, it's, it's awful. hard to really compare Lucy Letby as a, as a serial killer to anybody else. I mean, it, it makes your gut turn. You know, I haven't got young children anymore, but you don't need to have young children. I did have, I did have once, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need to have young children for, to just make you sick. As you, mm -hmm. as you said, Marina, your natural instinct as a human being presented with a new baby is protection, whether or not it's your baby or someone else's. It's inconceivable that mm -hmm. you could harbour, well, for me, it's inconceivable that you could harbour any emotion other than that one of protection and love. And so this woman who, uh, at least seven dead and, and, and attempted to kill another seven, 14 altogether, and possibly more, got exactly what she deserved. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I do think, and the, on the bigger point and looking forward, that there needs to be a proper statutory investigation with judicial powers calling people to testify under oath on how this happened. Mm -hmm. You know, one death is utterly abominable, 14, just blows the mind, doesn't mm. it? Or 14 attempts mm. and mm -hmm. seven, seven deaths, yeah. you know. Would you agree, Marina, that a, a bigger investigation I, needs to be had? Completely, absolutely. Just have, have, have a full investigation so this can't happen again. I do think it's interesting as well that, that there's a lot of coverage around should she be in, in court, the courts. Of course, yeah. And my initial reaction to this was absolutely, absolutely. Even watching that clip, you feel like you want to see her, yeah. don't you, and see her reaction, but it's it, but it, I it does spark a bigger conversation yeah, as well, I think, doesn't I, it? Yeah, because I think actually thinking about it, right, imagine she is dragged into court against her will. You, we're expecting her to, being there to give some sort of maybe justice or closure to mm. the families. But actually, she's not going to. She's not going to express that. This is this woman is. She's evil. She is. She must be devoid of any compassion. So she's not going to show remorse. She hasn't in any of her sort of participating within this sort of um, uh, trial. So actually, her being there, perhaps with a face that's blank, or maybe shaking her head, or maybe laughing, smirking. We don't know. All that's going to do 
is cause absolute devastate further devastation yeah, even to the more families. triggering even more traumatizing yeah. it's just yeah uh, well we're joined now by barrister jerry hayes who previously spoke to storm uh, this morning uh, welcome ja back jerry really good to to, to have you with us uh, for this so letby has been given a, a whole life order can you just begin by explaining exactly what that means it means effectively the key will be thrown away she will die in prison she will never leave prison. It means life really does mean life. There are something like 71 whole life sentences because there has to, as the judge said, exceptional seriousness for it to stick. Um, under most offences, you have what's called a determinate sentence, a set sentence. And if it's not a particularly serious offence, uh, over seven years sentence, you serve half. Um, if for good behaviour. Secondly, if it's for a very serious offence over seven years, you serve three quarters. That does not apply in any way whatsoever uh, for this woman. Mm. She will die in prison. So, so clearly no opportunity for parole, Jerry. Um, how will she spend no. her time in prison though? Will she be in a, a high security, in, in isolation? How will that work? Well, she will be in high security. She will be in isolation because it's not pleasant, nor should it be, uh, for people who have convicted of such wicked and evil uh, offences. But there may be a time in many, many years to come when she will be considered for a lower level prison, a little bit like um, Rose West is at the moment, another woman who committed some evil and wicked uh, crimes. But this is a long, long, long way off. And if anyone says that this is being soft, it, it, it's not. This is a possibility that could happen many years down the line. I can't guarantee or say that it will happen. It may not. But the fact is, this woman will be spending the rest of her life in prison and it would be very unpleasant. Well, understandably, people are starting to ask what will the conditions be like for her in prison? As we said, will she be isolated? Will she get um, certain luxuries as, as the years go by? And you mentioned Rose West, one of the few criminals to also mm. have a, a life order. She studied for an English degree. She reportedly cooks, has hobbies. So we're saying that at some point in time, this is something that will be um, possible for, for Lucy as well. It, it, it will be possible, but it's a very long way down the line. Don't forget, I'm not sure how old Let's Be is, but I think she's early 30s. 33. She's not very 33. That's no age at all. Uh, so, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing much more than staying in perhaps solitary confinement, but being separated from other prison, prisoners from a very, very, very long time before anything else it is, is considered. But the, the reason that the, the, the worst offenders are allowed some luxuries much later down the line is really control. Because I've represented, actually prosecuted some very, very violent people who, if they were just perpetually uh, in solitary confinement, they would be at risk of killing prisoners or prison officers because what have they got to lose at all? Yeah. Um, so it's really about um, prisoner management um, as opposed to giving someone luxuries. Jerry, thanks so much for your time and just giving us a bit more of an insight there. That's Barrister Jerry Hayes. Um, we're going to take some calls now. We've got Lizzie from Brighton. Hi there, Lizzie. Oh, hi there. Hi, how are you? Well, thank you. Thank you so much for, for calling in. Um, it'd be good to get your reaction um, to the Lucy Let, uh, Let Be sentencing, Lizzie. What, what do you think? Okay, I phoned in very early this morning, actually, um, to speak earlier. I didn't expect to get through on air at all. Um, but my reaction is one of relief now. Um, yeah, I'm just about to head off to meet my niece but um, with my two young children. But it's, you know, um, I'm a nurse. Uh, I've been a nurse for a number of years, since 1994. I qualified in 1997 at London Hospital. And I have been told numerous um, things in the past. I've got to be careful what I say, obviously, as a nurse. But I have been told on visits from important people that, you know, if you say things, you could be reprimanded. That was at a London Trust. Um, I'm now working towards the South Coast and have been here for the past sort of 
five, six years since my daughter was born. But obviously, it, you know, it brings back to me personal things in my life as well about how I was treated as a patient at another London borough hospital. Funnily enough, when I had my son 10 years ago and also, you know, my daughter here, thankfully, it was um, the polar opposite. But these things cannot be allowed to continue. Um, and, you know, hospital trusts, the NHS trusts at high level are working extremely hard. Um, and that is still my pathway at the moment to continue to nurse. But, um, you know, I'm 47 nearly, so hopefully I'll be able to retire in three years and uh, perhaps pursue other avenues of life or, um, you know, and continue nursing, which Lizzie, I love. Thank you so much for your call. Really appreciate um, you taking the time to call in.